What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are here again to do some product reviews. In our Facebook page, I mentioned that we are actually going to do a product review of this. The Sony ZV-1. Unfortunately, it has been raining all day, so I can't go out. I want to try this vlogging and not sitting down here. So that review has to wait. However, don't worry. I ordered something in Lazada and it finally arrived. Here it is. So this is what we're going to review today. Yeah, the box really doesn't say what I ordered, right? So anyway, I'll show you. So this is what I ordered from Lazada. Um, it says that it's a condenser mic. It cost me around 35 Singapore dollars. Uh, for those folks in the Philippines, I think the closest one uh, that you can have on this one or you can compare this mic with is this mic. It's worth around 1,284 and 30 pesos. So it's probably not uh, directly the same, but I think they're equivalent mic. They look the same. The only difference is that uh, this, this one has a different accessory, but in terms of being a condenser mic and also the cable, I think they're, they're the same mic. Usually these ones are just generic and then you're just uh, they just rebrand it or something, right? So I was looking for a cheaper mic because we always want to look for cheap, uh, cheap uh, gadgets or cheap deals wherein it's actually gonna be useful. So I ordered this one. So and and I want to see whether it's good, better, or is actually bad when I compare it to what I'm using right now, which is a Scarlett Studio 2i2 condenser mic. So let's unbox this. Let's see what's inside uh, so that, you know, we know what we got. All right. So this is the box uh, that we got. So let's open it and let's see what's inside. All right. So what do we have here? So first off, we have this. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the stand. Yeah, for sure. That's the stand for sure. Right. And then let's put it aside. We, next one, we have the cable. It's an XLR to 3.5 mm jack. Um, and then we have uh, the mic itself here. Right, so it says UNC JC, as you can see from there. UN-3, I really don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe it's the brand of the mic. It feels quite heavy, so I hope that that's a good sign. So hopefully that means there are good stuff inside this. And then we have this one, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that fancy mic holder. Yep, it looks like so. So it goes here, right? All right. Okay. So that's what's inside the box. And lastly, yeah, there's this documentation. Um, all written, I think, yeah, all written in Chinese. Unfortunately, I cannot understand or read Chinese, so let's just leave it at that. All right, so let's put this box away and let's try to assemble what we have. So, that, this is the mic stand, so it goes like this for sure. All right, so you can extend this, so let's extend that, and then we will. Uh, put this here Just screw this here Okay And once you have it there uh, It should stand right There you go, so and then we put the mic so before you put the cable I suggest you or before you plug this cable to the mic I suggest you already put this here and then once it's there, you can finally uh, plug this one. So, by the way, you can you can tighten it because right now it's uh, easy to uh, remove. So just tighten it here so you can secure it, right? And then this is the time that you will actually plug this in. So there's your mic and it keeps on falling. <laughs> so you probably had to align it such that it doesn't fall. Okay. All right, so it looks like we found the magic position for it not to fall. Let's probably just try to make it a little more sturdy by doing it. All right, okay. So this one is uh, we, we need to plug this to our computer. 
this this 3.5 mm jack right here we need to plug this to our computer so let me just set it up and then we'll do a test okay all right one moment all right so we finally plugged in the lasada condenser mic to our computer and we're going to compare it with our scarlet 2i2 studio condenser mic okay because this was the one that i'm using right now i'm actually recording this right now via this later we will change our settings in our computer so that we can record via this uh, lasada condenser mic so as a baseline i'm just gonna count and you know and and see how it's like i am probably around 10 inches away from the mic uh, from the studio 2i2 scarlet mic and same thing it's i'm still gonna be uh 10 inches away from the other mic from the lasada condenser mic when we do the test later so let's do this first so i'm just gonna count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so in terms of the settings i am around 60 percent on my preamp right now on my if i'm gonna show you so on this is the the in, uh, interface the usb interface that you need to use or that uh, together with the Scarlet Studio 2i2, it came together with it. Um, and my gain, so as you can see from here, the preamp is at around 60%. Uh, and I have my uh, phantom power on because this is a condenser mic. Condenser mics use phantom power. If I turn that off, um, you, you can't hear me. So just like I'm going to do now. So you probably didn't hear me a while ago but now when i turned it on uh you should be able to hear me right so just to let you know that that is the setting on our scarlet 2i2 studio now let me just change the setting in my computer and uh let's try recording using this one so just give me a moment uh to do that okay so we are now recording via the lasada condenser mic Okay. I'll just call it the Zata condenser mic so it's easier <laughs> to remember so I'm 10 inches away more or less same as the one that we had a while ago with our Scarlet Studio 2i2 I don't have any control on the preamp there's no preamp for this it just goes directly to the uh, to the computer and there's no volume control so it's just picking it up as it is so i don't know how it's good uh, whether it's good or bad worse or better than the previous mic but anyways let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so that's it for this lasada condenser mic uh, recording my voice so we are recording back again via the scarlet 2 white condenser mic and I'm just gonna to, uh, do a test now. We're in. We're gonna play our guitar because some of you may be looking for a mic uh, that you know you can use for your guitar rec uh, recording. So uh, let, let's just uh, play some music here, okay? So. So that's uh, uh, very short music using this Scarlett 2i2 uh, to record our guitar sound. Um, again, I pro I'm probably away this time, maybe around um, 18 inches away. And the guitar is probably similar, around 18 inches away from the mic. So that's how it sounds. Now let's do uh, use that uh, Lasada mic. Uh, let me just set it up in my computer. Okay, so this time I am recording via the Lasada condenser mic and uh, same settings, we didn't change anything. Uh, I'm also probably the same, around 18 inches away from the mic right now, so let me just play the same song that I played a while ago. So 
set, that's the Lazara condenser mic picking up the guitar sound uh, and then recording it, okay, around 18 inches away. I listened to the track, um, I listened to the recording using this, and I noticed that it, the volume is so low. I mean, it's like as if though I don't even have a mic at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record again uh, using this Lazada condenser mic, and I will try to bump it up uh, on the post edit of this video and just see what it's gonna sound like when we do that okay so i'm gonna just gonna set up my computer again uh, make sure that we go record here okay one moment so we are recording back again via this lazada condenser mic and um, i am recording again because i want to use this part to uh, bump it up on the post edit of this video and just hear what it sounds like okay if we actually uh, bring up that volume uh, at in the post edit because right now it sounds really or back in the recording a while ago it was really soft so you can't really hear anything so that's the reason why I'm recording again here okay so we are finished uh, editing that audio from the recording a while ago using that uh, con condenser from Lazada the condenser mic from Lazada and uh, it's bad <laughs> there's a lot of hissing sound and uh, I don't think it was a good recording at all so you can see that the problem when you don't have it bumped up it's so soft and then when you bump it up uh, on the post edit uh, you will hear a lot of that hissing sound so that can be a problem Final thoughts time, but before we go there, whether I'm going to recommend this one or not, uh, just some other comments. Uh, if you look at the posting in Lazada, you can actually see that this one has that light, uh, is that has that light, has that red light when you use it. But for some reason, when I used it, it didn't uh, light up. So I don't know whether I'm missing a setting or something whether I should plug it uh, this to a power source before I plug it in into my computer I don't know but it didn't so it didn't say I don't know whether it said it in the instruction it should it was Chinese so I really couldn't understand but intuitively what you think is that you have the mic you have the 3.5 mm jack you plug it into your computer and that's it right but it didn't light up uh, the other comment that I'm gonna have uh, so for your desktop computers uh, the mic and the earphones uh, plug are different so this one when you put it or when you plug this into your desktop computer it's okay you can still hear the sound but if you plug this in directly to your laptop so you might not be able to hear the sound anymore because there's only one plug so be mindful of that you probably need to, to buy that splitter so that you can uh, split the mic input and the uh, uh, earphones hit, uh, input in your uh, you, when you use your laptop all right so will i recommend this product or this condenser mic uh from that i bought online i probably won't uh when we were recording it the volume was so soft and then when we tried to bump it up uh, on the post edit of the video uh there was a lot of hissing sound so that that can be a problem so let's so let's just say when you're doing live streaming where you can't edit it uh, you can't have post edits then you know it's very soft and then when you have the chance to post edit your video let's say before you upload it to youtube or facebook it has that hissing sound so that is a problem so i won't really recommend this mic i would recommend for you to use the scarlet studio or this focus right scarlet studio 2y2 or any condenser mic using a usb interface or if you that's not an option for you because this one is gonna cost you around 15 to 18 thousand pesos so that's uh that's kind of pricey the next option or the next recommendation that i will give to you is to use a usb mic like this so this is the us uh this is an audio technica 2005 usb mic in fact i have one here so i'm not currently using this one now i'm using this but overhead actually in some of my streaming and youtube recording i use this if especially if i don't want the mic to be seen um 
in the in, in in the screen right or when i'm doing live streaming so actually this is the, probably the other one that i would recommend use a usb mic all right so probably i can share with you how this does how this sounds so let me just uh, set it up hello sound check so right now i am using this audio technica usb mic so let me just put this away so that you know that i'm really not using the uh the focus right scarlet 2i2 uh, condenser mic but i'm using this so instead of buying this i would uh recommend for you to buy this instead this is going to cost you around three thousand to four thousand pesos so instead of having the uh, the focus right it's going to cost you around 15 to eighteen thousand pesos this will be your next best alternative don't buy this i will not recommend that all right, so that's it. That concludes our review of this uh, Lazada condenser mic. Um, let me know what you think about it. Write it down in the comments. Again, this is Kamatic Reviews. I'll see you again. Peace out.